I went to IMATS in New York City today with my cousin and I bought a couple things so I wanted to share with you what I got. It's not a lot of stuff but it did put a bit of a dent in my purse in that I, I don't have um, money anymore. So the first place that I bought was NYX and I picked up these things right here. I got two jumbo pencils and a butter lipstick. I wanted to get the intense butter gloss, butter cream lip gloss, the intense lipstick gloss things that just came out recently. They had tons of different colors, but it turns out if you go to IMATS on Sunday, nothing is available. So the first thing that I got is this butter lipstick. It's in the color Razzle Fiesta. The next thing that I got is this jumbo eye pencil in yogurt. And the last thing that I got was a jumbo eye pencil in rust. And I plan on just smearing this on my eyelids and then kind of just buffing it out in shadow. The next thing that I got was a complete impulse buy. I went to the Stila counter and I picked this up. And I looked on Ulta's website and it was $36 and at the Stila booth I bought it for like $24. And it's the Stila One Step Corrector. It's a skin tone correcting and brightening serum. And it was explained to me that after I wash my face and put my mound moisturizer, foundation, it's not foundation, it's moisturizer. After I put that on, I put this bad boy on. Look at how cool that is. It's like a science experiment in a bottle. But you basically just put it on your face like a primer. The next booth that I went to, I had no intentions of actually going to, but my cousin was like, I want to check out all the things. And it was like the only line that we stood in to get to the actual counter to buy stuff. Because it turns out when you go to conventions like this, some of the counters are really busy and some of the counters aren't very busy. The busy counters, you have to actually wait in a line. Even if you're not gonna purchase anything, you have to wait in a line just to go and look at the makeup. Anastasia was one of those counters. Like I said, no intentions on buying anything at all. I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna look. They have some really nice liquid glosses. I'm not gonna buy any though, because they're $22 a piece. I was talking about the Brow Wiz, and I was like, why is it so? I don't understand it. I don't need it. Do I need it? This girl literally came across the counter, took my face, and did this beautiful work with my eyebrows. And, you know, she did it on one eyebrow, and I looked in the mirror, and I was like, that's an improvement. So then I bought the Brow Wiz and two liquid lip glosses. Oops. And then I said to her, I was like, I was thinking, am I gonna look like an idiot walking around with just one eyebrow done? So then she took my face and she did the other eyebrow. Like a very sweet magician that I didn't tip because I spent $60 at her counter. I got the Anastasia Brow Wiz and she talked me into getting soft brown. The Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the color Party Pink and I cannot wait to put this on my face every day in the summer, look at this, holy crap. Oh, it's gonna look so good. And the one that I have on my face right now is called Lovely and it's this one right here. And I really like it. It's really pretty. It's like a like a color on my mouth. The next counter that I went to, I want to say I did the most damage at, but I bought the most products for the least amount of money. And then I left this counter and went to another counter and I, they had all of the products for like $3 less each, so. But I think it was like, the counter was called Rick's. It was, look, this counter was overpriced. I'm still only like a couple dollars each, but. Then I went to another counter and they were like $2.50. So I was like, I just paid $4. The first thing that I picked up is this LA Girl Pro Conceal. I got the shade Classic Ivory. This is the stuff that you just put like under your eyes and then you don't look like you're tired. I got, I got some of the LA Girl Glazed Lip Paint. I got them in the colors Blushing, which is the really pretty, in the color, the fuck does that say? Trob? Tease. <laughs> I also got the color Koi, which I'm actually really excited about this one. This one's a little daring, but we'll try it. And then as I was going to like ring out, I saw these, which I had never even seen before, but these are also LA Girl and they are flat finish pigment gloss and they're just matte. And this is the first color I got. It's like this really dark purple-ish color and it's called Black Current. And the second one I got is called Backstage and it's like this really dark red. I went past this counter when we first got there and they had really, really cheap brushes and I knew that I needed a new crease blending brush. 
if that's what you call it. I don't know, I just needed a blending brush for my eyeshadow. Cause the one that I have now, it's black. And I gotta be honest, I don't really know when it's dirty until I like put it on my eyelid and I'm like, that's not the color I want it to be. So I got this and this is from, what brand is this? PQ, no, B Delium Tools. I don't know. But this is called the Tapered Blending Brush. It's number 785 and I got it in pink. And I also got the Face Brush 957. It is the Precision, Precision, Precision? Kabuki Brush. And then the last thing was Complete Impulse. We had gone to the Tarte counter and the line was ridiculous. So as we were leaving, there was no line. So we were like, hmm. And my cousin went and I was like, I'm gonna go buy these brushes. And then I sat on the wall for a little while and she was still at Tarte and I was like, why is she still there? So I went back to meet her and she was like, all this stuff is like 50% off. I might have bought something. Which my cousin made out way more better than I did. Way more better. She bought $70 worth of products and then she was like, can I pay $40 cash and $30 on my card? And the girl was like, sure. And my cousin said that like on the iPad that they rang her out on, it showed up card failed. But the girl was like, okay, here you go. So my cousin got $70 worth of really cheap Tarte products for $40. Cool. But this is the Tarte Lip Surgeons. We got a Lip Surgeons in our last boxy charm, and I really like it. It's super, super moisturizing and I just didn't really like the shade too much. So this one is in the color Glitzy. I put it on the back of my hand and I was like, mine. So that's everything that I got at IMAT. It... Like I said, it's not a lot of stuff, but I'm broke now. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.